to the happiness research. I won't bore you with a lot of it, but the, what they found at University of Riverside was, and I'll get my kind of glass to show. So I think, is this like, this is like 50% full. So the happiness research, they were doing a ton of twin studies. And they were looking at how much happiness is, are people born with? Like how much is genetic? And they realized about 50% of just your baseline mood is genetic. So it's kind of like what you're born with, how you got it, and that's kind of your outlook in life, your optimism, how you experience happiness. 10%, so I'm gonna do a little. 10%, it's not that much is, I don't know what, something like that, is where we live and our job, our work. I mean, and that's incredible when you think it's only 10% because a lot of times like this 10% is sort of like what we're working towards. Like, oh, if I could only get the right job or, oh, living in this nice house or, oh, moving to the right town or all the stuff that we do as humans. That's 10%. And that leaves this 40%. Look at how much of a glass it is. This is what we do. 40% of our happiness is influenced by what we do. And like, that's the good news. That's a lot of variation that we can play with. And that's what Karen and I want to teach you some strategies about how you can raise your vibe, raise what you do here to, to get through this sheltering in place in the happiest way. So